What's happening? What's happening? What are you talking about? What are you talking? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? He told me to stop you that he regrets having followed you. I don't know what future. Oh, time wise. <gasps> time wise, no. <laughs> Okay, so listen, I, I'm, I'm so sorry that I haven't, you know, I haven't been, you know, like making videos, you know, no reviews, no live reaction, not even replying to comments. I've just been not interacting with you guys at all, and I'm, and I feel really bad. There's a lot of guilt, and yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But uh, if, if I've been doing anything behind the scenes, eh, it's kind, kind of. I mean, I got a new computer, like I built it with a friend of mine, and it, you know, took a long ass time because we're you know, idiots. But uh, that, that was fun. If you're watching this, shout out to you. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good, you know. Uh, maybe not. Maybe yours is still better, but uh, you know, like compared compared to what I had before, it's pretty good. So, you know, uh, I haven't actually edited the video yet because you know, I've been kind of you know not doing anything. <laughs> but uh, this is gonna it's probably this live reaction is probably the first time I'm gonna edit on that. But that's technical side. Also, another thing that I've been doing, uh, I've been reading the entire uh, Marley arc. You know, from chapter ninety one, I put on the present just to refresh myself on some concepts that I just forgot, some some details that I'm missing, things that I overlooked. And, you know, with the information that I have now, it's just paying attention to, you know, some characters that I didn't, you know, appreciate, like Porco, Cole, stuff like that. And, that, man, it was great. It was great. Uh, I just, uh, there's all this, all this stuff that you forget to mention in my videos. And they're really long. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I've been taking notes. And by notes, I mean just harassing my friends on Skype, just writing, like, notes. <laughs> hey, man, you noticed this? And that's that's what I've been doing. So, yeah, I, I have a lot of things to talk about, to be honest. And I haven't even read this new chapter yet. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. But, uh... Yeah, so why I've been doing that? Like, why I've been reading the whole fucking thing? Well, honestly, I just felt bad because, like, there's been comments, like, implying that I'm you know, forgetting stuff. And I am forgetting stuff. Like, every time I read a chapter, I, you know, like, oh, where did this happen? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to look like a fucking idiot that just screams. I don't want to do that, even though I do that all the time. I kind of look, want to look a little bit smarter, you know? <laughs> and, uh, yes, that's, I had to do my homework, basically. And, yeah, but specifically, last chapter, you know, that, that there was that, that double page like memories sequence before Aaron enters the path plane path dimension whatever and so number one uh there was you know uh, people were saying the comments and now it's been confirmed because i saw a higher quality scan of that page and I, absolutely in the corner uh, in, uh, there was nerd armin and golf casa from the fucking high school uh isayama stranaganza uh spin-off thing and uh, number one nerd armin don't say guys don't say that that's just armin like, <laughs> nerd armin what is that golf casa that's a good name and by the way, I gotta say, I gotta say, like, I've never been the biggest Mikasa fan. You know, those abs that have been, I've been, you know, to me it's like yikes. But you know, Golf Casa has definitely been, you know, like a an, an awakening for me. You know, and also the Mikasa with the ponytail when they were like building the the, the roads, uh, and Aaron was was still not a fucking asshole in that flashback. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, more importantly is the um, is the 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 page where we had the kid. And people are like, oh, that's Rod Rice. Like, what, what, first of all, like, like, what the hell is uh, is up with like the people people talking about Rod Rice? Like, this guy has fans apparently. Oh, what's, what's happening? Like, I, it was like a, some some people in the comment section, some people on like other places, other forums and stuff. Like, personal friends of mine went up to me. Oh, yo, it's Rod. Rod, dude, his hair doesn't look like that at all. We've seen young Rod. It, it it's never been like that. Like, I don't, I don't, I can't believe that at some point in his childhood, his hair would look like that. No, no. So other people have been pointing out, and that, and this this is where I was like, oh shit, I gotta go back. The kid had a fez, and the people in Fort Slava slash the Mid Eastern Allied Forces, whatever, um, in back in chapter 91, 92, 93, uh, Marley was fighting these guys, and those guys they all had fezes in their fucking heads. I I think it's a fez. It looks like one. So I'm, I'm not a, admittedly I'm not an expert on hats or anything to be honest. But uh, yeah, the kid looks like looked like that. And if you go to chapter 93. You will notice. Time skip. Aaron is there. Like that. that that's not, chapter ninety three is the first time you see Aaron post time skip. He's in there in the corner. And if you go, if you read chapter one hundred, there's another panel of those events where it it, it 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 confirms that was Aaron. So, what does that mean? Like we don't know how Aaron still you know got into Marley. That that is still a little like like Hanji and the other like built a base in Marley or something they were there and Aaron was sending letters to them they were all in Marley but Aaron like went ahead or something we don't know but we can presume that Hiyomi or Yelena somehow got Aaron into that country and then 
he got on uh, on a train and they went to Marley and then you see Falco and Aaron interact for the first time, you know, and Aaron doesn't have his leg. That's how, I mean, you know, from there. But yeah, Aaron was in that country. Aaron probably saw a little kid with that fucking hat and that's, that's it. It's an usually big panel for a random kid that doesn't matter. Yes, yes it is. But I think, I think, I, I can't help but think like Rod would be weirder. But yeah, uh, other things... Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I should, I'm talking so fucking much, but dude, there's so much, man. So for now, I'm not gonna talk anymore. I, I just need to read this. Uh, you guys are probably bored, but um, this chapter, I'm afraid of some a couple of things. Number one, we might go back, like for now, like we're, we're going in, in like we're investing forwards in time through Grisha's memories. We, we might go back, and we might go back to, um, we might go back to. Xavier, apparently his name is Kusaver. That's how you pronounce it, apparently, according to the official English translation. Bruh. <laughs> Xaver, all right, sure. It's going to be hard to say the name correctly now, but yeah, like, yeah, apparently, I, 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 I'm afraid we're going to go back to Xavier and we're just going to shit on Zeke, reveal that Xavier is like bad the whole time, which I, I went back to his chapter and you know, I definitely pointed out on my review that his backstory is a little iffy, and now I'm going back to it. It's like I'm like I'm like even noticing more like weird, weird things. I'm like I don't know about this guy. I really don't know. And I'm afraid we might reveal some stuff. I hope not. I think that's really mean, but we might. Another thing that I'm afraid of is the time travel stuff. Straight up, like the, we, if we, you know, the idea where you can transfer ideas, concepts to to the past. You know, where did Xavier get his, Xavier get his information about the royal titan touching sh shit that apparently was wrong? Maybe from the future. Maybe, you know, maybe, that, maybe nothing like that happened in the past. I don't, I don't know. There, there's, there's big concepts at play here. And uh, yeah, there's, but yeah, I, 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 I know I'm boring you. Let's, let's just jump into it. Well, you could just skip if you didn't care. But uh, yeah, dude, there's so much to talk about. All right, so we're going forwards in time. Aaron's born. You're already nine years old. So, uh, does this mean that, uh, all right, so Aaron doesn't have the scarf. So is, is, a, a Mikasa around here? Nine years old. That's when he killed those kidnappers. Uh, shouts out of that, by the way. <laughs> shouts out to the season three opening <laughs> with Aaron and Mikasa. And it's like so happy. Yeah. Like the fallen angel. And it's, and, and it's like, yo, Mikasa's there. That means Aaron killed two adults. Shouts out to that. I'm just going to read the fucking, uh, so by the way, this is the, the, um, this is not the official translation, so shouts out to Fukatsu boys. Uh, I like you guys, but uh, yeah, I usually I like waiting just because of the scan. The, the, the actual drawings look a little bit better. No, 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 no disrespect, but uh, yeah, usually anyway. But uh, yeah, not that the official translation is necessarily good. There's a lot of ooh, there's a lot of stinkers in there. <laughs> anyway, you're already nine, zero, nine years old, huh? Grisha loves you and raising you freely. You were never brainwashed by your father. Uh, and that's why... Oh yeah, so, like, is Aaron controlling now? Uh, uh, uh. The thing? Because it could be that, you know, Z, you know Zeke claims that, uh, I, that he, can, he has the full control, but he wants to save the world with Aaron. But, like, maybe that could be a lie. Maybe. I don't believe that. You know, I think Xavier genuinely... I think Zeke genuinely wants to work with Aaron, but I don't know. I have no idea. Can you fucking read this? Okay, and raising you freely. We're never going to watch. And that's why I said it's useless. No matter how many years I spend wandering within my mother, my father's memory. So, you know, that's why he wasn't surprised with, you know, with the last part. He was surprised when Grisha found the race chapel, though. If that's the case, why did you betray me? You inherit the title without being told anything by, by father. More importantly, Zeke, the question is, why the fuck are, are, you, are you an asshole to uh, Armin and Mikasa, right? What's the situation? There. And the fucking reason is, oh my god, Mikasa is a really bad liar, according to episode one, you know, when he just she straight up told, uh, you know, Carla, Aaron wanted to join the circle. Aaron's like, yo, Armin, I trust you. You're a good actor. You were lying to Annie, but Mikasa, I can fucking trust her, bro. If I reveal my plan, she would reveal to Yelena immediately. She doesn't shut up. If that's the reason, I swear to God. And yet you still continue to fight along the lines of his wishes. So maybe some subtle brainwashing. Aaron, why do you refuse to end this fight? What do you intend to do with the Founder's power? I... Ever since I was born... I've been me. Future memories. Oh, we're going back to this.
what's being pursued is freedom. Look at this freedom right there. These guys being dead. I think, I used to think you and I were the same, but I was wrong. If other people are going to steal my freedom, I'm going to steal theirs. Father did not intend on letting that happen to me. I've always been that way ever since I was born. <sighs> Stealing other people's freedoms. Stealing other people's freedom. I don't. I. Whoa. whoa I don't like that. Whoa, Aaron. Ever since you were born, the pathetic little brother you wish for is nowhere to be found. Neither is the little brother who lives in the perfect circumstances to be able to share your emotional wounds. The only person who can be found here is a man who can vow his confidence. Wait. Wait, 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 what am I reading? A man who can vow his confidence only by continuing to deny his father's desire to restore Elvia. A pathetic man who is a slave to his dead father. If that's the case, this man should be thankful to his father. That father's actions opened his son's eyes and saved the world from the crisis of Elvia. In a sense, the one who saved the world is that fucker. Don't you think that's ironic, Aaron? Yo, shout out, shout out to my Aaron Mika boys. Right, are these characters? Maybe? <laughs> are you okay, Aaron? Are you okay, Aaron? The power of the founding titan is in my hands. I can carry out the plan of euthanasia at any time. Yeah, but you... However, I'm not going to abandon you. Oh, fuck. Save her. Fucking Jesus. Ah, all right. <laughs> Just like Saver never abandoned me. <laughs> I don't, I, I, don't I, I have a bad feeling. Before saving the world, I want to save you. These guys are playing with this fucking ball, like Zeke in chapter 114 saw his dad and kid doing the same thing. Humanity has not perished. He wants to leave it behind a, me a final message, an impressive final message. They put the yeah. Yep. Yep. Are you looking? Paths? Are you looking? Look at the look at this paths. Time travel. Time travel. Like like straight up. Aaron. Oh, look, look, bro. I talked about this fucking scene. Aaron said that he wants to join the server club because of her. You're such a bad liar. You think Aaron can trust this shit? <laughs> if the reason. <laughs> that would be funny, though. It would be... I would laugh, but I would get probably more angry than anything. What are you thinking? Do you do you just know how many how much of humanity has died from going outside? Oh, dude. Oh, my God. I'm remembering the dialogue. It's going to be very interesting to come back to, to what Aaron says in... In this, I know, Aaron. Why do you want to? Yeah, to venture outside. I want to know the world outside. Is, is like I don't want to spend my whole life inside the walls without knowing a single thing. But yeah. Also, if there is no one to continue from this point on, the lives of everyone who died before will go to waste. A little kid, Aaron said that, and he's 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 essentially saying the same shit that Grisha, or more specifically Kruger, was saying, which is very interesting. The same design, like it's like the ends just by the means kind of shit, right? You gotta keep go you gotta keep going. Hey man, didn't your little little sister die? Fucking keep going, bro, to justify that. Hold on, Grisha. Convince Aaron not to join Aaron. And by the way, the key in the manga looks completely different from the one in the anime. It's a norm normal ass key. <laughs> Which I guess makes more sense. When I return the basement that I've kept secret all this time. Well sh well, he's like looking directly at is it who? It's Zeke? Aaron? I was gonna say Aaron, but like it doesn't look like that. I don't know. Who cares? Oh man, Aaron Aaron was so happy. Was he happy when he said that? I don't remember. The shop was, was the shop was with Grisha. Uh, I'll show you inside. Really? Yay! And then disaster fucking happened. 
Are we gonna go to the right? That was another thing that I... I'm just, I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna fucking read. He fucking knew. Did he knew? Well... I'm gonna say this. At this point in time, his Grisha's term was ending, right? But he never really looked like as bad as Uri, as Kruger. I'm trying to remember if we've seen any, anyone else. Not, not that I can right now. Uh, he never looked bad. He looked fine. He looks fine right now. But his term was ending. So maybe he was already planning. Uh, I, 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 he, he was not planning on dying. He was just planning on, you know, finish up some stuff before he g gives himself the air. His turn was ending, sure, but he didn't know that this was going to happen, right? He didn't know this disaster, or I guess he ignored it? Maybe? He went on the boat and then people were like screaming or something? But it's like, he's just like, ah, oh, just gotta keep going. And yeah, all right. This is this is also another thing that I was suspecting was gonna happen actually, but you know, I just, I. I couldn't talk for like 10 minutes. People would get fucking angry at me. But I'm just, I'm, I'm, I want to say this. Chapter 115, my last big review, and I want to, I don't want to do anything like that again. In that chapter, Aaron and Zeke are talking. We see that talk for the first time. And one of the things that I thought was very interesting, and I pointed out in my, I'm, I'm pretty sure I pointed out in my review, was that Aaron starts talking with Zeke about the memories that he saw of Grisha. And he says... He starts the sentence like, the old man, four years ago, I saw my 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 dad like kill these guys and it was and I felt it, dude. I felt it, it was like his hand like that. I, was, I made fun of that. But but more interesting is the fact that before he talks about that, before he talks about those memories, he, the first panel of, of we see is of the the ceremony in the season three finale, the, first, the last episode, where uh, Aaron kisses Astoria's hand and he sees memories it's about this moment but Aaron, Aaron, Aaron goes on to describe another memory you know like like Aaron when he kisses a story he sees literally this moment he sees literally this moment right here that, that I'm pointing at with both the, the mouse and my fucking finger and but when he's talking with, with 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 Zeke he describes what happens next when he actually is killing all these guys and it's like and I said like to me the idea here is that Aaron is t trying to sell Zeke the idea that, hey man, when we met in the Re Return to Shinshin arc, I was a fucking idiot, I didn't know any better, but then I saw my dad's memories, and I saw what my dad did, and I was really angry, I thought I was really fucked up, so Zeke, I'm with you, bro. I thought that was the idea, you know, the idea that Aaron's trying to sell, but Isayama, with that one panel of Aaron and Story, he was, he was saying that the, the real memory that Aaron, you know, thought was like really important was this one, where... You know, this, despite what Grisha did, you know, he tried to find a better alternative. But Freyda just, just couldn't. Poor Freyda. I love Freyda, by the way. I wish we could have more of Freyda. I think she's great. She looked like a really fun character. But yeah, I'm an alien who came from beyond the walls. Did, did I, I, I just talked a bunch of shit. I feel like I just like lost myself there. Did, I, did that make sense? I don't... <laughs> a subject of me just like you. King of the walls. Please, you must... Did Freyda see... Aaron the Z. Like, anything can happen. Oh, by the way, by the way. I forgot to talk about this shit. Stop the fucking analysis. These guys are... Uh, have... Have clothes. Alright? Aaron was decapitated. Like, he should have been fucking naked. Okay? And then Zeke was shirtless. And then Zeke is, like, dressing himself in, in the last chapter. Like, we actually see that. But, like, what's gonna happen in the real world? When they return? Are we gonna have naked Aaron running around? Oh, shit, dude! I gotta... Covering his own dick? That... That'll be funny, but probably not. But like, are you telling me that the ti Tiny Tiny can make clothes? That that's now that's ridiculous. Millions of colossal titans, and they all have the hardening ability to create the wall. All right, change it in DNA so that they don't they don't die from a plague. All right, that, that's fine. Uh, memory control, yeah, controlling titans, yeah, that's fine. Making clothes, all right, that's fucking ridiculous, bro. Are you kidding me, dude? What the hell, bro? What is that? That makes no sense. That's magic. What? Oh man, can I do? Can you give me a Dolce Gabbana, whatever? Yeah, bro. Thank you, Ymir. I'm so stupid. Let's just fucking go. Please, you must kill the titans attacking the wall at once before my wife, before my children, before the people of the walls are eaten. And then, shh, shh, pff, I, I, I wish I saw this in sequence in, 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 in the anime, though. I, wanna, I wanted to see, like, uncuts. And we didn't get that. And I'm very upset about that. I'm very upset. 
we must not run from our sins. For us, the subject of mere judgment day has come. <sighs> right up. When, <sighs> fuck. when faced with enormous power, humans are far too weak. This is what I came to... Wait, wait, wait hold on, hold on. I, I, need to, I need to breathe in. When faced with enormous power, humans are far too weak. This is what I came to realize during the tragedy that was the, the great Titan War. Some, someone must protect the power of the Titans from the hands of humanity. If the Founder's power falls into the hands of a weakling once again, the world will turn to hell once more. In order to save the world, we must accept our sins. There is nothing we can do to except perish. Okay, so they eventually fall to King Carl for his shit. Okay, but like this stuff about weaklings, humans are too weak. And this power is so great, it falls in, 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 to a weak person, they can do some crazy shit. We haven't talked about that before. It's interesting. That's interesting. I mean, let me just do a little quick, a quick uh, look before, you know, I can't trust these websites anymore. Like, you, you know, because of, uh, I mean, <laughs> because of the missing pages and shit like that. And from chapter like 117, I thought, no, 18 or something. Right. That's so embarrassing. I'm always embarrassing myself, but yeah, I just got to make sure I have trust issues now. I just straight up trust issues everywhere. Oh shit. Someone's freaking out. Oh, this, I guess we're Christian. I guess that makes sense. I guess we've seen that already. So. I feel like I get along with that girl. <laughs> I feel like I've seen like a couple of fan art with Zeke and Freda. So I, I'm not expecting that. I was not expecting that. That'll be that'll be interesting. That'll be a fun spin-off. Freda walking around, hanging out with Zeke, talking about shit. But you're, you're, but you're probably getting along more with, with you know, uh, Carl Fritz, you know, that ideology. Um, which, you know, it is interesting, interestingly similar. Maybe it is, in a way, the royal blood and paths, uh, even if you don't, don't have the founding titan. Freud is not like, like, uh, Freud, uh, the story is not like you at all, though. Like, so, I don't know. But it's just a funny coincidence. I don't, I don't, uh, but this family will all be slaughtered right here by Grisha. Dude, you said that you've seen this memory before, haven't you? And I felt a deep sense of disappointment towards your father. Was that also a lie? What the fuck is that face? <laughs> what the fuck is that face? My house is right next to the wall that was destroyed. That's where my wife, my son, and my daughter- MY DAUGHTER! Yo, fuck, thank you! Thank you. No, I didn't say children before, that was plural. Like, he's like being even more fucking obvious, dude. Mikasa, this guy loves Mikasa. It's so obvious, but I, I, I always like that. I always like when we, when we say that. Mikasa's, ah, oh, Mikasa. Ah, uh, dude, when the anime added that little extra little screenshot with, dude, shit. I guess they don't, they don't like when I talk about that. But let's just keep going, man. The people who live in these walls have no idea about the crimes their assessors committed because you stole their memories. Do you think that simply being eaten by titans without the, knowing the reason why is supposed to be some sort of atonement? That's that's true. They don't know. Like, the fact that they don't know, it's not really tr true atonement, right? No. No matter how much we reflect on the matter, we are unable to bring back the Eldian lies that have already been taken. Sorry, Sasha. However, having lives, the, having the lives of people, of people outside the walls be taken, is something we are able to avoid. Not anymore. If we simply feign ignorance and accept the wrath of this world, us Eldians people will die, and that will be the end of it. Right, Zeke? You, you like that, right? You're looking at Aaron, and Aaron's fucking angry. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, oh fuck! It's also, shouts out to, for, you know, Freda was like, you know, doing, looking at the mirror, and then she saw Eren. And, and now we know, like, the time travel path shit is a thing. She saw literally Eren. <laughs> that moment where you're in the mirror, you're trying to look good, and then you see, you know, uh, your, your, uh, your future kid or something. That, yeah, that, that's crazy, yeah. Eren. Okay, so hold on. Is this Eren or Freda? <laughs> it's Sam. I'm sorry. This, this is a little rough. I don't, man. Is this Gabby? Who is this? Fuck. 
<laughs> no, sir, it's probably Freda. Trying to persuade me is useless. Also, even if you would uh, attempt to steal the Founding Titan from me, you are... I got it. The fact that I cannot use the power of the Founding Titan. Nobody knew. Only Xavier Xavier knew, and told Zeke. And Aaron found out. What a coincidence, by the way, because Ymir is a fucking slave. She's fucking nothing. So the flowers and the two you of a thousand years, whatever the fuck, doesn't mean anything. Maybe it probably does. That was Ymir Fritz. Very suspicious of that shit. But you, the nine titans have all their distinct qualities, including the attack titan who dwells within me. For some time now, the successor of the attack titan has not obeyed any, anybody. I know the reason why. It was all in order to fight against the king's self-righteousness. That's right. For this moment, everybody was led by these memories to you. To you. The attack titan is even able to appear into memories of its future successors. Straight up. In other future memories. In other words, it has the ability to foresee the future. But only the attack titan... Because, because this guy really hates, really hates the king. Look, look, man, in, in chapter one, in episode one, Aaron was, Aaron was literally seeing the future, okay? Literally seeing the future. This is a fact. Okay, Fred is like, what? Hey, do you think we're going to be able to see how Roger... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow. The future. What's the meaning of this, Aaron? The distinct quality of the attack titan. That's right here. I also know that you were you were not aware of this. Yo, how the fuck how the fuck you're not aware of this? The power of the falling titan cannot be fully realized due to the vow of renouncing war. Okay. Okay, okay, because the thing is, like, I feel like if the king himself was like, hey, man, I got to do this, even with the vow, I feel like I, maybe he could do little things. But if you're saying there's even a restriction, even if, you, even as members of the royal family, that goes for you too. Yeah, all right, okay, like, right here, I will devour the founding titan and wipe out the royal blood because I know it's fine. Because my boy is going to find a way to fuck you up and use the power anyway. Bro. But, but Aaron. The only future that Aaron. I can't make that city. I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't, think I, I don't think I can say that. That is the future on which I have decided. You have decided, bro. Bro, is this endgame shit? Bro! And he stabs and runs. Look at, <laughs> look at fucking Rod! Look at fucking Rod! <laughs> Yo, this guy is really fast, man. And it's funny because his Titan is really slow. Bruh. Mm -hmm. He's hesitating. Man, Rod is. Man, Rod is gone! Oh, that's so funny. I can't... For me to kill children, I... Aaron forced him. I'm a doctor who saves people. Foolish. Gorisha definitely stole the founding. He annihilated his entire family. That's how it should be. There's no way that the past could change. There's no way that the past could change. But it did. The past... The past didn't change. Grisha saw the future. <laughs> Bro, my fucking brain, dog. I, I just don't know. I, I don't I don't know. I'm just confused. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just gone. Like what's happening here? This is crazy. <sighs> right, let's keep going. 
What are you doing, Fre Oh, Rod, Rod is, Rod is talking. What are you doing, Frey? To kill that man quick. The founding is invincible. Kill him. Oh, there. Oh. There's no way we can let that man live anymore. Kill him quick, sister, or our paradise will be destroyed. Frey to protect everyone. Yeah, do it, Frey to kill him. What are you doing? Stand that. Oh my god, this Kruger, Kruger ass. Stand. You don't have the balls. You don't have the balls, bro. Oh my god. Aaron, you fucking asshole. Have you forgotten what you came here to do? Oh, oh my god. Oh. Aaron made his fucking dad do this shit. That's a paradox. This is exactly what I, was, what, what I was afraid was going to happen. I was afraid of this shit, man. Bro, my brain. My brain. My brain is so small for this. I can't. I can handle that. It's payback, right? For your little sister got eaten by dogs. Hey. For your comrades from the restoration, for Dina, for Kruger, we need to keep moving forward. You said the thing, you said the line, for to avenge them, even if we die, even after we die. You quoting Kruger, man! He's quoting Kruger straight up! <laughs> this. This is the story that you started! Oh! Dude, I can't believe this shit, this is so fucking confusing, right? Dad? This is, well, this is Fredo, right? I can't believe this shit! Look at this hero! He's so gross, his titan is so gross. Why is his titan so different, by the way? From Kruger and Eren's. Who knows? Who cares? Look at this shit. This is a story? This is a story! This is, I was gonna say Ymir, but like this, kiss the, kiss the fucking hand. I was gonna say kiss the ring, that's not. This is, right? Where did he get that, by the way? Okay, it's cool, it's cool that we're revisiting this, but I, I, I would really like to know this situation here. Where did you get that? Where did you find that? I would like to know, you know, how Rod has a bunch of these? I would like to know how, like, these different types of serums are made. This show's gonna end, and we still don't know that. We still have no fucking idea. And also, how many Titans have, like, Hardening has, like, their specialty? Is it Reiner? Is it Ymir? Is it, is it, is it Porco? Is it the Warhammer? Is it Zeke? Zeke could Harden, too. Like, every Titan can do that. And you can give that ability, but, like, I don't know. It, whatever, man. Who cares? Who cares? What is this shit? This is a story, right? Or Ymir? The real Ymir. Because Ymir's not a little girl. Like, Ymir grew up. Like, she... She, she got... She got came in contact with the, with the devil. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure I've seen this footage. And I forgot to talk about this. But, like... From the final exhibition, there's, like, a little animation. And it looked like the devil was the one that gave the apple to Ymir. Which, you know, changes everything we knew about that situation. But... That doesn't even matter. What I'm gonna say is that Ymir, in those depictions, looks like a little girl, but, you know, she died 13 years later, which means she, 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 she got old, she had daughters, you know, Sina, Maria, Rose, the walls, according to Willy. I don't know, like, Ymir, Fritz looking like a little girl is a little strange. It's almost like someone made that thing to trick you. I don't know why, though, right? My first guess is the story, though. I don't know. I killed. Even the little children crushed them with his hand. And Aaron really felt this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yo, does that mean when he pissed Astoria? No. I don't know, man. With, with his hand, the feeling of my hand. Aaron is doing that. Aaron, I killed the race family. Everyone except the father. Is this okay? Are you happy with this? To the paradox, and Aaron's gonna kiss Astoria's hand. With this, will Elliot really be saved? Why won't you show me everything? The wall being destroyed. The day will be destroyed. He knew! He knew the whole time! If Carl will be saved, was there really no other way? 
You're there, aren't you? Zeke? In the future, your wish won't come true. The one that will come true is Aaron's. What is Aaron's? What is Aaron's? What is Aaron's fucking wish? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These fucking ads. <laughs> what? That, that caught me off guard. I was so I was so fucking like, oh my god, dude. Man, fuck, dude. Man, thank fucking god I read everything, dude. I thought this moment was fucking suspicious. I pointed out my fucking review. Dude, fuck! I'm so big brain! But not really. Dude, can we get a reveal if Aaron and sorry fucked or not? I, I feel like we I've been I've been waiting on that for a while. I'm just saying. I'm I mean, I was so Ah oh, the paradox though. Oh my god, my brain. Oh time shit. I was so afraid of this shit. Like the implications of this. The implications of this shit. Oh what, what are you saying? I saw Aaron's future memories. But you think that's such a what a terrifying thing like that to happen. You grew up so much. I'm sorry. I was a terrible father. Oh my god, like, talking redemption. Like, I'm really fucking afraid of this. Like, is this our future? Like, shit's gonna go even worse? Like, I'm really afraid of this sentence. Like, it's kind of hard for me to, like, appreciate this. I'm sorry, I was a terrible father. I made you suffer, always. See, I love you. Thank fucking God we didn't go to the Kruger, uh, Xavier shit, you know, of them working together. Well, we might, but this is the best outcome, you know. I guess. I guess you can do it. I wish we could have spent more time together. Stop, Aaron. <laughs> you still haven't seen when Dad got eaten by me. Here was the one controlling. You... You made it so Dad... would wish would fight against the King of the Walls. And the world. Is that... What you did. If the Attack Titan really has the ability to surpass time, why is this thing called Attack Titan? <laughs> but it would be possible to influence the past on by only showing Grisha's memories convenient for you. The. The? The dad. The Grisha was hesitating over his duty as a restorationist. Because. Having seen your memories, he knew that even if he stole the founding, he would have been unable to use that power. Grisha was hesitating over his duty as a restorationist because having seen your memories, he knew that even if he stole the founding, he would have been unable to use that power. But he was made to steal the founding by you because he saw the future. Saw something in the future that he showed to him. There's people that push themselves onto hell because they see something. Maybe it's hell, maybe it's another future. That's what he said to Falco. And it was little. It was little. It was little. Aaron, Aaron literally saw the future! Fuck! My ass! What the fuck?
wants. I, I feel like I'm just losing my. <sighs> because having seen your memories, he knew that even if he stole the founding, he would have been unable to use that power. You know, like. <sighs> It was not because he loved this kid. He was like, ah, I want to spend more time. It was because he knew it, it, it wouldn't matter. Might as might well delay that as much as possible. Maybe it's both, right? It's probably both. I'm grateful to you, brother. No, it's Aaron. I'm grateful to you, brother. Thanks to you bringing me inside Father's memories. I've got this path here now. Huh? Wait. wait, 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 dude, listen, Isayama, Isayama, I did not want this, man. You're a genius, I love you, but uh, I'm grateful to you, brother. Thanks to you bringing me inside Father's memories. I've got this path here now. Listen, apparently Attack Titan was seeing the future, right? And, uh, but like, uh, you're, you're saying that Grisha only saw the memories because because of this time travel that we experienced, adventure that we had? It was not before this? Aaron was not sh sending messages before this event? It was because th these guys touched that this whole thing happened? I'm, I'm sorry, like, I'm just... <laughs> what? Aaron... <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! I, I need, like, a new translation or something. To just I, I have to read... I'm gonna read this fucking chapter, like, two more times from Manga Stream and the official translation just to make sure that the message is clear because there's... One thing is, oh, my God, that the Attack Titan can see the future. And Grisha sees the future. It's like, all right, okay, let's do this. Blah, 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 blah. But now it's like, ah, no, bro. Our adventure in the, in, in the path dimension, traveling to the past made Grisha act the way I wanted him to. It was probably a mixture of both. Right? He saw the future, but then he saw literally Aaron and Zeke there, and that was like the motivation that he, that he, that he needed. You know, thinking about this, it definitely like gives like a whole like Doctor Who-ish kind of vibe, the fact that Aaron and Zeke are were presents with before Grisha did the horrible thing. Not to go into spoilers with Doctor Who, but you know, there's kind of an episode where, where you know something like that happens. You know, hey, we're here, we're gonna help you do this bad thing. <laughs> Fuck. Not my wish, but your wish will come true. That's what he said. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude, big brain. I saw it four years ago through my father's memories. I saw my future from... <gasps> I saw my memories from the future when he kissed Astoria. So it... Okay, so I was not kind of right. I was not right. He saw... S or maybe... I think this is a little bullshit though, right? This is kind of bullshit, all right? That we saw this moment and we see, you know, a little Grisha talking to Freya. And there's like, actually, I saw even more. But, you know, you say I'm the author, doesn't want to show you. It's like... Alright, bro. Also, can we talk about how, why, in this moment, memories happened, but, you know, before, in their previous hand-holding sessions, which is a real thing that fucking happened, they were doing that, and they were not unlocking memories? They probably, dude. At this point, they probably were, and they were, and they were just. Shh, shh, shh. I bet the story of fucking saw some memories and didn't didn't say shit either. Cause you know she saw memories the other time in the Uprising arc. Why didn't she see anything now? Why? And she's touching paper apparently, and she's getting memories from that. Remember the anime when they did that, and I screamed like a fucking idiot because I was not expecting that. That was weird. Man, this chapter's a goddamn trip. Oh my god, I have to fucking sleep on this one. Dude, I gotta... Oh man, I gotta have to take a walk after this. That scenery. That, that scenery?
founder Ymir take away from all of Ymir's subjects their ability to reproduce? Ymir, 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 Ymir! No! <laughs> oh fuck, that's so funny. Everyone's like, yo, dude, I have this, I, I time traveled. <laughs> Zig is like, okay, I still have the powers, you fuck. The coordinate! Grisha, he told me to stop you, that he regrets having followed you. What? 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 Did I miss a page? Did I miss a page? Did I miss a fucking page? Did I miss a fucking page? Am I going crazy? Did I miss a page? Did I miss a fucking page? What's happening? God damn the fucking ad. And I went back, and I went back. God, did I miss it? I, I honestly, I shouldn't have jumped. I smacked the balls, my balls in the chair. No, oh, like, what's happening? What's happening? What are you talking about? What are you talking? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? He told me to stop you that he regrets having followed you. I don't know what future. Oh, time wise. <gasps> time wise, no! No, I don't want Dragon Ball shit. Don't do this. <laughs> Timelines. No. I don't know what future you might have seen in my father's memories, but you must have not seen all of it. Oh my god. He's saying, oh, it's going fucking insane. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Like, how, how you didn't know you couldn't use the powers here? You are still helpless. Ah! What? What? You, you can just do that? I mean, the... Okay. <laughs> Seriously, Sarah, no one in this world has been capable of stopping the founder of Ymir once she moves towards ruin. She moves. Time travel. Timelines. Memories from the future, but then you actually time travel, and then at the last second, ah, but hold on though, I saw a different future. What are you fucking talking about? Who the, bro? This is this is this is this is this, uh, this is a parody. This is like hitting parody levels of like in insanity. I tricked you, you tricked me, I tricked you, your trap card, your Uno reverse, no you, all this sh shit memes are not funny. This is, it's like the same as joking around, bro. Like, what's happening? What the fuck is going on? We had an emotional scene, and now it's like, oh, but I actually saw another future, or a past, or whatever. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, you know, I'm happy that... You know, I was right, kind of right about that, you know, about that thing. But like, bro, oh my God, what's happening? Oh, dude, my brain. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm happy that I kind of figured that this was, this was like more important. I don't know if I'm a fan of like, Oh, Aaron saw even more that you didn't see, viewer. Like, uh, uh, uh. that that scenery. What do you talk? What, do you, what does that mean? This scenery? What, what, what? Oh my god! Bro, what is what to stop you? That <laughs> my brain. Like, I don't know what future you might have seen in father's memories, but you must have not seen all of it, right? Like how you didn't you didn't know you couldn't use the found founder powers here? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, I I understand what you're trying to say. Like, you didn't see that part. Why didn't you see that part? I don't know, dude. I'm I'm gone. I'm 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 sweating. I'm confused. I I don't know, but I let me tell you this, like this fucking little girl Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Very suspicious this little girl. I like you're not a little girl. 
you're a fucking oh, an adult woman who had kids, right? You fucked. She fucked, bro. She fucked, bro. I didn't fuck. She fucked. Think about that. Think about that for a second. Not as a fucking kid, mind you, but this fucking girl. Why does she look like that? God damn, dude. What the fuck is fucking going on, dude? Oh my god, my brain. Dude, I'm dead. I'm dead. You know, I like time travel, actually. And I do. A lot of things that I like have time travel. Time, I think time travel is fun. But there's something to be said about shows and series that don't have time travel as their initial premise, where it's like all of a sudden you have it. It's like, it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. And the same is exactly doing something that I'm not a fan of, which is... People, people in the past seeing the future and like influencing the past and the historical events to go in a certain direction because it's like because the first question is like what was the first timeline like what, what was the first thing that happened and, and how did that person like I guess it's just timelines it's multiple timelines exist every time someone makes every time someone tried to fuck with the past created a timeline that's what's introduced I guess that makes sense now I, timelines is always the easy answer for everything in time travel it, you know unless you're Dragon Ball but it's always like, hey, what happened? What is the real future? What changed? It's just oh, timeline, like straight up. I, I, I guess that's probably a good thing, in hindsight. Like Aaron, every time Aaron sends the memory, a different timeline is created. Something like that. <sighs> New realities. Yeah, sure. But like, fuck, dude, I. Whoa. I. What do you think about this shit? <laughs> What do you think about this shit? Fuck! Whoa! And there's so much... Is there so much we haven't covered yet? Dude, I, I think it was... I, I haven't been replied to comments, but I read a comment. I think it was Davy Boots, if you're watching, shout out to you. It was about... Well, first of all, it was like... It was like, yo, man, you're probably going to do a 10-hour video or something about talk, talking about Attack on Time. And I will, probably. Honestly, I, I have so many too many things to talk about. It. Not right now. I'm, not right now. I'm just like, mentally just exhausted. But like... <laughs> One of the things like any, right? You, you asked about that. And yeah, like, at this point in time, like, any as a character is just done. It's over. There's no way. If any as a character was going to show up, was going to do something, was going to be important, was going to be relevant, was going to develop and grow or whatever, that would have been like 20 chapters ago. You know, it's not going to be now that the series is ending. If any returns, if any does anything, it's gonna be because of the female titan, like you know that that titan is gonna be important for for some Deus Ex Machina or some fucking like crazy MacGuffin plot twist thing where you need to gather all, all the Dragon Balls, you know, all the shifters to do a big thing, you know, and her titan's like necessary for something. That's probably Annie's input, you know. She's gonna be needed for something. You're not gonna have a yo guys, I'm here. What's up? You know, you know, you know nah, we're done. Unfortunately, it's, it's it's a shame, you know. You know, with Game Year. Not Yumi Fritz. Uh, y y Ymir, um, she uh, she got closure. It's controversial. A lot of people were angry. I was kind of upset at the time, but she got closure. Annie is just there. It's you know, it kind of sucks. But yeah, we're not even touching that. There's so many things. There's so many things that we haven't finished up. Like Levi, Hanji, what's happening there? <laughs> more, more importantly, more importantly, where is Hitch? Where's Anka? Where are those two girls, man? Look, I read the whole thing, okay? And in chapter 115, a lot of things happened there. One of the things was Yelena talking with Pixies. Rest in peace, bro. And she was like, thank you, Pixies, for bringing all your soldiers into Shinashina District. So, like, is Hitch and Anka, are they, are, are they there? You say, if you kill them off screen, I'm gonna kill you. And speaking of killing off screen, like, in the last chapter, 100, no. Oh, it was like, yo, the 19th, the one that I was screaming like a fucking idiot, and I just was gone, was gone. Even worse than, than where I am right now. Like, I literally couldn't talk. In that chapter, it was Colts, it was Porco, it was Pixies, it was Nile. Alright. But like, Armin fired the Thunder Spear against Peak, and Magath was like there, in, 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 in the thing, in her back. And then she like, takes that off. Is Magath dead? Like, you don't see, you see like the impacts of like the explosion, but you don't see like... I don't know, like, he might be dead. <laughs> he might be dead, you, you know? And nobody noticed. Shit. Fuck. I like McGuff. I thought McGuff was, like, pretty good character. Especially when I went back. 
Guys, you should go back. But now, I, now I'm just... Dude, what do you think about time travel? I, I, I like time travel. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. But at the last second... It's, I don't know. But one thing's for sure. Whatever Aaron wants to do... It's gonna be bad. It's probably gonna be bad. It's probably gonna be bad. And... Story probably... It's, story had to see the shit. She didn't react to like, I don't know, man. Why? Why is Aaron seeing shit and story is not? Why is it, Why the, can they touch and then not see memories? Why, but they touch you know, on screen and they see memories. Why can Historia cut fucking Rod Rice in the Titan form and then she sees memories? Why can Historia touch paper and then she sees memories? Why can Reiner touch uh, uh, Porco and then see... And, Por and Porco and maybe Reiner too saw Marcel's memories? Dude... And will Falco grab Kiyomi's ice burst stone plane and go to Walsina and not and not crack any? And Falco we have will be the Jaws female Titan and we'll have boobies. That could be funny. Think about that. I'm just done. Right? I'm done. I'm gonna end this video. Leave a like. <laughs> Leave a sub. Oh wow. I'm so exhausted. And uh Go in the comments, please. I, I promise I'll uh, try to reply. But I don't know. Sometimes I just, I'm just lazy. And I'll see you guys later.